Well, there's nothing that'll give you greater joy than giving in one way or another. And you can give in many ways. That doesn't necessarily mean material things, as most people think it might mean material things. No, uh, the, uh, thyself. Mother Teresa is the person who's lived in my lifetime for whom I have the greatest admiration and respect. Such a wonderful person, giving, a life of giving and caring and loving. And she once said, a life not lived for others is not a life. And uh, she lived that uh, for everyone. And she's always been one that I've uh, had this great respect for. Good things don't come easy and should not come easy, but she must not give up. Uh, but you can't do that unless you enjoy what you're doing. Real joy comes from doing for others. That's where the real joy comes from. And in a sense, that's nothing but giving, and, and, uh, and we should do that. That doesn't mean you, you, you mustn't, you, it's wrong to want things. There's nothing wrong with wanting things. Maybe something wrong with how you go about getting them, but there's nothing wrong in, 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 in wanting them. But there's sharing is just, it's a great joy, sharing. And, uh, that's where you get your greatest, the greatest pleasure. Well, I defined success in 1934. Uh, I have my own definition. I don't agree with Mr. Webster that more or less success is more or less the accumulation of material uh, possessions or the attainment of position of power or prestige. They could be. I don't say they're not, but I don't think they necessarily have to be. And. Uh, I don't like uh, parents judging the success of their youngsters because they get a C instead of an A or a B. I, think, I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's accurate. Everybody can't do that. We're all different. And, and um, I wanted to try to do the best I can. And um, I didn't like the way of judging, say, athletic contests. More points is successful. I think you can outscore somebody and not feel successful. And you can be outscored and then feel very successful about it. So I wanted to come up with something of my own, and then two things brought it about. My father trying to teach the three things, and that is um, uh, don't compare with others, learn from them, because you'll never know anything, you don't learn from others, and never cease trying to be the best you can be. And you're the only one who will know that. It's like you're the only one who you know your character. And then I ran across a very simple verse that said, at God's footstool to confess, a poor soul knelt and bowed his head. I failed, he cried. The master said, thou didst thy best. That is success. That impressed me. And that came in. And so I came up with my definition. 1934, success is peace of mind attained only through self-satisfaction in knowing you made the effort to do the best of which you're capable. And you're the only one that will know that. And if you can honestly say that, I think you're successful. And I, I really believe that. And that's what I ask in my teaching, whether it was teaching in classes or whether it was athletes. You, you, and you're the only one who knows each day you must make the effort to do the best of what you're capable for the improvement. And I don't care what others think. What you think of yourself is far more important than what others may think of you.